Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we are going to take a look at the Flysky uh, FS uh, GT3C uh, transmitter. This is a transmitter uh, intended uh, to be used in uh, RC cars and uh, boats uh, or uh, terrestrial uh, RC stuff. Uh, it has a steering wheel control and a throttle uh, like a pistol grip, so that's its uh, design. Uh, here are some uh, of uh, its specifications. If you want to pause this video, you can uh, read them in detail. And now I'm going to switch to the bottom part of the box. There it goes, so you can see a lot of stuff there. Uh, let's uh, move on and open the box. I'm gonna open it from here. This is what you get, of course, a uh, CD with some uh, probably manual or uh, firmware upgrade utilities on it. We'll check uh, those later. It comes with a micro USB cable and a, a rubber grip, additional rubber grip because the remote already has one installed. Uh, this is uh, the battery, it has a lithium uh, polymer battery. Probably the battery was in this bag, but it's no longer in there. Uh, also, it comes with a receiver. The receiver is with three channels. It has a long antenna. It has also a bean plug. And this uh, plastic thing, it's for uh, protecting the antenna wire. When you are installing it on a car or a boat, you can put the antenna wire through this and you can install this somewhere in the car and it will keep the antenna at uh, the desired angle for a better reception. Alright, let's move on. So here is the transmitter itself. It looks very nice. Let's pump up the light a bit. It comes with an antenna. You can uh, fold it nice here when uh, you are uh, storing this and the steering wheel has a nice uh, soft uh, foam type of uh, cover uh, which gives you a much better grip. Power switch is uh, odd placed here and it will turn around with uh, the steering wheel. It has uh, dual rates here, uh, channel 3 trim button here, channel 3 uh, button it's a push button and of course it has streams for throttle steering and lots of other buttons here uh, slider and it's also a push button a micro usb port and that's about it so let's install the battery let's see if it powers on what's nice about the battery it has this uh, pulling tab so you can uh, remove it easily battery is now installed, let's see if it has power, so I'm going to power it on, it has power, it has turned on, and it also has 3.8 volts battery voltage, it's very easy to configure, let's zoom in, this should be better, so first you have model, the transmitter has multiple memories, and you can see it has 10 memories from 0 to 9 and you can set different profiles so you can use it with uh, 10 RC models or you can uh, do up to 10 profiles, different profiles for uh, your RC model so you can save different banks of settings in each profile it doesn't matter if it's another car or the same car with other settings so that's very useful you don't need to modify the setting each time you are uh, changing the car so name here you can edit the name of uh, your uh, model so you have a letter here and let's see if you can change something else so name okay you can change the letter and is other letter and this character okay so you can put three letters there it should be enough for 
differentiating your models. Of course, this is the servo reversing. You can reverse it or not. You can choose the channel to be reversed and choose if you want to reverse it or not. Okay, let's move on. Further, endpoints. This is an adjustment. You may know that uh, uh, what is that for. And of course, you can change again the channel, one from the three channels. And then, moving on, you can select the endpoint adjustment like that so that's very useful also you have next is the trimming option and again uh, you have trimming for all the channels one two three dual rates again for all three channels Exponential, it's available for all the channels and what it's nice for uh, cars is the auto brake system which has uh, different profiles which is off, normal and fast uh, or slow. This thing uh, has an uh, auto braking system like an uh, ABS for uh, real uh, cars, anti-block system, you can pulse the brakes so you will have control when braking which is very nice and I'm going to demonstrate that so now I'm going to bind this with the uh, received uh, receiver if we can call it uh, that way and uh, see how it works and uh, how that uh, ABS uh, thing works to further demonstrate how uh, this thing works I'm going to use the provided receiver a battery eliminator circuit this uh, will take voltage from a LiPo battery and uh, uh, provide uh, 5 volts uh, constant uh, voltage and current. I'm also going to use two servos. And to better demonstrate their uh, activity, I'm going to install some of their uh, hardware like this arm. On this and on the other, also going to install an arm just like that. So, you are going to see what each servo does, and of course, I'm going to use the LiPo battery for powering all these things. So, on the receiver, you can see here you have uh, four uh, brackets for uh, connectors first one is for supplying power and the others are for uh, uh, control and uh, binding so you can see the first one here from the top is for power power goes in like that it has a signal is on this side here it's plus on the mi middle and uh, uh, minus or negative on this side here and now i'm going to use the servos and connect them in channel 1 and channel 3 which should be throttle and steering and now they are inserted uh, Flysky advertises as uh, this receiver is already binded with a transmitter from the factory so I'm not going to try to bind it I'm just going to power it on and see if it's going to work or not and I'm going to connect this to the LiPo battery Let's zoom in a bit, this should be better, and what do you know, it works out of the box, no binding, I didn't even restart the transmitter, I just connected power to the receiver, and steering works, and let's test the uh, throttle, throttle also works, and brake, brake reverses the servo, so it works, brake is progressive, throttle is progressive, so both works as it should of course steering is progressive in both direction so I'm going to show you what's the ABS function so if I go back to the menu and choose ABS you have fast normal slow and off so I'm going to select slow and enable slow 
So what happens? If I press throttle, throttle works normally. But when I press brake, like just just like that, you can see how it pulses the brake. You can see my finger is steady. So throttle and brake. And it's also progressive. You can see the intensity of of uh, pulsing varies with my finger and of course if I choose uh, fast it will pulse a lot more faster so throttle is yet again normal and braking it's done even more faster than it was previously let's see also the normal this should make it break again so it has three pulse levels it has low normal and fast so you can adjust that which is really nice further on to continue this uh, transmitter review I want to tell you that uh, this transmitter being a fly sky is compatible with other fly sky stuff from receiver to other modifications and there is a hack for this transmitter to enable additional channels five more channels in it so you can buy an extender board and you can drill your own holes into the transmitter where it has enough spaces and add new uh, potentiometers you can uh, fine-tune some things or you can uh, add two position or three position switches and all of those will work with other receivers until I add uh, more channels to this transmitter my plan is to use it with uh, this uh, model it's the uh, Vicar Bison uh, this has a four channel uh, receiver but it only has a two channel transmitter uh, it's not a problem with the number of channels, but uh, the original transmitter has uh, uh, adjustable uh, analogical uh, potentiometers for uh, trimming, which are used for throttle and steering. And uh, when uh, there's humidity outside, or uh, it's cold, or it's hot, uh, those values will vary because they are not digital and they are not fixed by a firmware. Uh, each uh, resistor has a variable value due to uh, its uh, surroundings so I don't like those uh, and of course they are very easy to adjust and uh, move and uh, each time you need to uh, tweak them so I'm going to use this transmitter for uh, better control and I want to use uh, the brakes also and uh, in the future I'm going to use the supplementary channels for other interesting stuff on uh, this car as I have some uh, plans which I'm not going to tell you right now I'm going to show them to you after they start to work until next time bye bye